I'm drinking a Moscato wine. And what about you, Em? Um, bubbly, sparkling water oh. in a wine glass. In a wine glass. Okay. You've got a perfect. Hi, everyone. We're, they're just taking pictures upstairs, and then they'll be down here, and we'll start the Ketuba signing. Thank you so much. Just keeping everyone updated. <laughs> wish, you were all, wish you were all here. We do, too. Yeah, you're not kidding. Absolutely. Hi, Rabbi Josh. Hi, who said that? Brandon. Brandon. Hey, Brandon, what's up? How's it going? The Jurowitzes are with me. So good. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. Who else is there? You're down here already. I can see better without my mask on. Just Someone kidding. Downstairs. I'm Thank you, Justin. Is your name actually Glam, or is that just your stage name? Uh, that's my stage name. No, I'm Glamour. That's why I'm Glam. Oh, oh Glamour. I love that. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Hello. We're just getting ready to sign the Ketuba. Yeah. Those of you online, I'd love for your, you to just make sure that your phones or your devices or your computers are all muted. We're about to begin our signing ceremony and then we will have a wedding. This is all of the most important pre-work that we have to do. The first is, according to the state of Michigan, we need these three documents signed as a promise that I'm allowed to do the wedding. So, Molly, on the right side, on the right side, at the bottom, it says signature of spouse. This is your new name. So whatever name you're going to be signature, and then printed name right under it. Perfect. Is that middle name too, do you know? Whatever you want your official name to be. Your signature can be anything, but write whatever you want your actual okay. name to, to be. I did. <laughs> oh, you heard me. <laughs> Don't worry, Jane, no. Doesn't so how's she signing it? Signature can just be an X. And a, hold on, you have to do it two more times. That's weird. <laughs> Molly Rebecca Moss. Wow. It's a weird looking name. Molly Moss sounds like the name of superhero. You haven't thought about this yet? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say she's practiced that name a hundred times, so you know. Is there a reason why the woman goes first, or just you chose that? Because she had the paper in front of her. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if there was some... No, nice not at all. Not at all. We all right. Now you're going to have your dad sign. You are the witness for her. That's a witness signature and then a printed name on all three copies. Uh, you have to open the pen up. <laughs> and be gentle. Sometimes uh, these, pens are, these pens are more sensitive. Loop, loop, loop. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Andrew. Easy to forge. See how quick he went Andrew? I know. He's like, sign, 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 sign. Well, because he's not a real signature, it's just a scribble. No, he's saying he's trying to get rid of her. Right? As quickly as he Because I never went cursive. Oh, oh, oh. But look at Scott. I am not trying because to I have to sign it here and it has to look nice. Because this is going to be up on our wall we're going to look at it every day. Nancy, if Scott scribbles that and you're teaching me how to do it nice, what's the matter? Not on me. I was fine with sale. All right, Andrew, you're going to take that on the other side, on the bottom line, where it says signature of spouse. You are, this is also whatever name you're going to be tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> only Watch how you, slow only you heard it. What? <laughs> Do you want your signature page? Uh, yeah, the Guys, <laughs> this is a lot of pressure already. This is a part of the whole wedding. Andrew is the most nervous about his signature. What are you writing? I N T R O B. Dad, stop. I'm happy to wait, guys. <laughs> okay. Now, the only statement that matters is what he answers to me later on, so that's the one that matters. And what he answers the rest of his life. Guys, I'm focusing on one thing right now. This is hard enough for me. Why is your hand shaking? I almost just misspelled my own name. <laughs> uh, Jeff, you are our witness for that document. Uh, so there's three signatures and three printed names just above his. Those signatures went good. To clarify, I'm not nervous about the marriage part. I'm worried about the signature part. <laughs> Putting that out in the universe. I, I think we've gathered that. Okay. <laughs> Are you crying already? No, I'm all right. Stop it. It's okay. <laughs> Just marrying your daughter. You should be excited. <laughs> I'm excited that she found the love that she deserves in her life. <laughs> all right. <laughs> there you go, Scott is a lawyer. It's all signed. So. <laughs> 
That allows me to do this wedding. The second thing we're going to do is the signature on our ketubah, which is the Jewish marriage contract. This is the agreement, uh, Andrew, that you've made, all the sheep and camels and goats that you've sent over, right? You took care of that already? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, good. No, actually, it's just a love document that connects the two of you as bride and groom. Molly, on this document, you are still unmarried, so you're going to be signing your maiden name for the last time. So this is, this is it. You've been practicing this one all of your life. <laughs> So what we're going to do is have you and Andrew sign first on those bottom two lines that say bride and groom. So pretty. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> And you now, did so practice. great. It looks so amazing. Oh, oh, I'm good now. Mom's <laughs> right, sign. So, so Wendy, you're going to be a witness on one of the two witness lines. Good, really? Yeah. Now I'm good. No, Sign no. Signatures are done. Now I'm chilling. This is easy now. Where am I signing? Oh. Figured you guys there. would like that. Hmm? Figured you guys would like that. All right, I'll add my name in a moment. Uh, I just want to show you, this is our signed document with the seal from the state of Michigan on it. So this is their official document. I'll send the other two back to the state. I'm going to give you this to put in your pocket. He gets that back later on tonight. Okay? We have the for that too. Yeah, I have that. I, you don't need it. I'll just send it back. I got it. All right, so we have just one more thing to do before we have a wedding. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to actually have the two of you stand up, so let me just come back and help you. Take the chairs away This here. is our Bedeccan ceremony. Moms, I want moms on the inside. You guys are holding hands. As the two of you enter into this moment, I want you to just take a look at each other. Remember when you met. <laughs> and then remember the journey that you've taken from that day. We have to. To this moment. <laughs> and how lucky you are to be in this time and space. According to our Jewish tradition, this is that moment where we go back to the Bible and remember Jacob who forgot to look under his bride's veil and married the wrong person. We do not want that to happen tonight. So Andrew, is that the right girl? Absolutely. Molly, is that the right guy? Yeah, it looks right to me. Good. And there are two other brothers over here, so, you know. They're, taken. they're all taken. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, moms, in a moment, I, we'll, let's, we'll put the blush on separately, but for now, just take her veil and just gently bring it in front of her face. That will be uh, an easier way for the picture for this Bedeccan moment. We're going to veil you, Molly, symbolically as we offer this blessing. Yisimecha Elohim Kasara Rivka Le'ava Rachel. May the two of you be blessed as were our ancestors, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. May you find joy in life together, and may every day bring you back to this incredible moment as we say together, Amen. Amen. Simon Tov and Mazel Tov and Mazel Tov, Simon Tov, Simon Tov and Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simon Tov, Simon Tov and Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simon Tov, Yehelanu. Yeah, hey, Lanu, yeah, hey, Lanu. Who the call Israel? It's not getting any slower. Yeah, hey, Lanu, yeah, hey, Lanu. Who the call Israel? Everybody, Simintov and Mazotov, Mazotov, a Simintov, Simintov and Mazotov, Mazotov, a Simintov, Simintov and Mazotov, Mazotov, a Simintov. Yeah, hey, Lanu. So everybody who's watching online, we are going to set you back up under the chuppah. In a few moments, we'll be having the wedding. For the time being, uh, you should keep yourselves muted, but please chat into the chat because this is being recorded and Andrew and Molly will have all of those chats to look back at later on. So send them love and greetings in the chat. All of you guys, in a few moments, will go under the chuppah. We're going to welcome the two of you into the sacred space with an ancient tradition. This ancient tradition is of bride and groom circling one another in uh, a spiritual ritual that connects you and links your souls as one. So we wait now and we'll continue once you've concluded this tradition. Can I go this way? Okay. <laughs>
That's the di most difficult thing you're going to have to do tonight. So it's all good. It's all good. Take a deep breath in as we welcome you to this sacred space and time. You are beneath two talitot that make up your chupa, and in the presence of images of loved ones who are here spiritually blessing the two of you. And so we offer these initial words of welcome. Bruchim hapaim b'shem Adonai berach nuhem mi beit Adonai mi adir al hakol mi baruch al hakol mi gadol al hakol hu yivarech etchatan vehakala. We welcome our bride and groom, and this opportunity to celebrate life together. I know that the two of you have been waiting for this moment, and while it is not exactly the time or place that you expected, this is an amazing blessing. This is an incredible celebration. Before I continue, just look around. Look around and know that on this screen in front of you and behind you in person are the people who are your inner circle. And up on the porch. <laughs> These are the people who will always be watching over you, with you through moments of joy and challenge. How lucky you are. Of course, there are many symbols of a Jewish wedding. Perhaps the most important is the cup of life. So I'll ask you, Andrew, to lift that Kiddush cup. In it, sweet wine reminds you of the sweetness of this day. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri agafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al ha'arayot v'aser lanu et ha'arusot v'hitir lanu et ha'nesuot. Lanu al yedei chupa v'kidushin, baruch atah Adonai mekadesh amo Yisrael al yedei chupa v'kidushin. Blessed are you, O God, who creates this fruit of the vine, but also gives us bride and groom, and enables us to celebrate life together. May the two of you remember the taste of this sweet wine. May the sweetness be on your lips for a lifetime. Now each of you in front of you also has a ring. These rings are a symbol of continuity, of wholeness, of shalom, of peace. But before you are able to put those rings onto each other's fingers, I must ask you the most important question of the night. Andrew, do you take Molly to be your wife, promising to love her, to honor her, to cherish, and to respect her for all of the days that God gives you life together? I do. <laughs> and Molly, do you take Andrew to be your husband, promising to love him and honor him, to cherish and to respect him for all of the days that God gives you life together? I do. Those were excellent answers, both of them. <laughs> so Andrew, if you'll take that ring and turn towards your bride, I want you to place the ring onto her finger, hold it into place, look at her eyes as you repeat these traditional words, Hare. Hare. At. At. Mekudeshet. Mekudeshet. Li. Li. Betabat. Betabat. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Yisrael. The Yisrael. With this ring. With this ring. You become my wife. You become my wife. According to the traditions of Israel. According to the, the traditions of Israel. And the laws of Moses. And the laws of Moses. That Hillel education did you fine. It was perfect. <laughs> perfect. And now, Molly, if you'll take your ring and place it onto Andrew's finger, holding it into place, you're going to look at his eyes. And repeat these words, Hare. Hare. Ata. Ata. Mikudash. Mikudash. Li. Li. Betabat. Betabat. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Yisrael. The Yisrael. With this ring. With this ring. You become my husband. You become my husband. According to the traditions of Israel. According to the traditions of Israel. And the laws of Moses. And the laws of Moses. 
turn back towards me and hold each other's hands. You can place those rings onto your selected, your actual ring finger now as a sign of acceptance. <laughs> That's so it will never come off. It might never come off because it's a little more snug than it was. Okay. So tonight, as I mentioned at the beginning, is an incredible evening. The weather is perfect. The people are perfect. And I'm going to suggest right now that even this renewed timing is perfect. Of course, it's 10-10-2020, an auspicious date. But it is also tomorrow, Simchat Torah, a holiday in which we celebrate with the Torah. And so the idea of celebrating with a bride and groom seems perfect and accepted in this moment. But Simchat Torah also has a secondary reality because we end the reading of the Torah and begin once again. Like the passing of seasons from summer to fall and winter, that transition of time is symbolic because each of you tonight is going from being an individual to being a part of a unified couple. And so this Simcha Torah, which is joyful and celebratory, is also transitional. You go from your parents' homes to create your own home. Standing beneath this temporary shelter, you will enter into that more permanent structure as husband and wife in a few moments. So I can only think that what our tradition gave us in our antiquity also applies today. According to Judaism, at Simcha Torah, when we finish the book of the Torah, Deuteronomy, we say these words, Chazak, Chazak v'nit Chazek. Be strong, be strong, and may you strengthen each other in this moment. That applies not only to Torah, but to the two of you. We are strengthened by you. We are strengthened by this relationship, and I know that you are both strengthened every day by each other. Now, Andrew, I have had the opportunity to watch you grow up from a boy in our synagogue to a high school student and now to a man standing beneath the chuppah. This has given me a chance with perspective to understand that you are in one of the best places of your entire life right now. But I also know from speaking to you that that really could not have happened without the woman you bring to this chuppah next to you as your bride. I am here to read and speak about a few things that you shared with me about that relationship. Molly has helped you through times of challenge. She has been there for you when you've needed her the most, and she has allowed you to live up to your potential every day. And yet she does it with an unconditional love that makes you recognize how special she really is. She's selfless. She makes everyone else more important than even herself. And in this moment, she's here for you, taking care of you. We see the beauty and the light and the joy that she brings to you. And it is in that alone that we know that this is perfection. But Molly, you also shared with me what Andrew means to you. And I think in understanding these realities, we see into your relationship deeply. You said to me that he would literally do anything for you, that he makes you laugh, he holds you when you cry. The two of you are there for each other in a way that makes this a perfect relationship. Don't worry, it's just leaves. <laughs> a little wind, nothing more. He is a calming force for you. He helps in the moments of challenge, make sure that you have everything you need. And he understands you. He understands what you need in moments. He understands how to make you into the best human being that you can be. As I watch the two of you and I see that relationship, I understand those words of Torah even more perfectly. Chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. You two make each other stronger. You make each other better. And so our prayer for you tonight is that every day you will recognize that blessing. How lucky you are to have found each other. How lucky you are to be beginning this life of happiness tonight. 
And so I ask you to take that cup of wine, lift it up, and in this chuppah, you will be listening to the words of the seven blessings, the Sheva Brachot. These are the words of our tradition that have guided us for generations. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, borei pri hagafen. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, shakol baralich bodo. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, yotzer ha'adam. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher yatzar et ha'adam b'tzalmo. B'tzalem demut shabni tov, v'hit kin lo mimenu binyan adayad. Baruch atah Adonai yotzer ha'adam. Amen. Sos tasis v'tagel ha'akara b'kibutz b'neha b'letocha b'simcha Baruch at Adonai M'sameach ziyon b'vaneha Amen Sameach t'samach re'im ha'ahuvim K'samechacha yitzircha b'gan eden mikedem Baruch at Adonai M'sameach chatan v'kala Amen Baruch at Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher baras ha'son v'simcha Chatan v'kala, gila rina ditza v'chedva, ahava v'achava shalom v'reut. Mehera Adonai Eloheinu, yishama, yishama ba'are Yehuda. U'v'chutzot, u'v'chutzot, u'v'chutzot Yerushalayim. Kol sa'ason v'kol simcha, kol chatan v'kol kala. Kol mitzahalot, chatanim mitchupatam, u'nean mere mimishkenatam. Baruch atah Adonai, mesameach chatan im hakala. As we say together, Amen. And so it is the two of you have spoken the words and performed the rites that enable me the honor of declaring that you are now officially husband and wife, <laughs> friends and lovers. <laughs> For all of the days that God will give you life together, I want you to hold hands for this moment. Because in this moment, you will be receiving a blessing. This blessing is powerful. It is connecting your souls. But it's also connecting you to a past and a future. Right before you, there are two talitot. These are your bar and bat mitzvah talit. I'm going to ask you to wrap yourselves in your own talit. And as you do that, I'm going to ask you to extend that out to your new partner as you face each other. <laughs> and as you hold each other tightly, I want you to bow your heads and receive this blessing. May God bless you and keep you together. May God watch over you and be good to you. May God every day enter your souls and allow you to transport yourselves from this temporary home to a permanent one. In that home may you find the blessings and the protections of life. And in that home may you look into each other's eyes knowing how lucky you are to have found each other. Each day we pray that you will see each other's souls and know that you have received God's most precious gift, the gift of peace. Amen, amen. As you remove those talitot from you, you can place them down on the table once again. And Andrew, there is just one last moment of challenge for you tonight. Everything else from here is just blessings. According to tradition, as we break this glass, shards of the world are broken, and yet the two of you together will put the world back together in one piece in perfection as we feel perfection tonight. I look at my brother's finger. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Wifey? <laughs>
spotlight. Everybody Thanks, can now unmute time. yourselves and give them a big mazel tov. <laughs> <laughs> can we take it off of the spotlight thing? Can we take oh, it? for real. Hi, everyone is. <laughs> Thank you all. Thanks Mwah. for coming. We love you guys. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, Thank everyone. you. We love you. Love you all. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not used to being able to go up to them afterwards. I know. Mazel tov. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Ooh. Long road. We're lucky. I know. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Mazel tov. That's why we all got tested, right? Yep. It's not in my hair. Oh yes, my gosh, it it's not all in my hair. It was wet. It's Mazel tov. Thank you. Yeah, husband. Have you ever a picture of their tummy? Notice how Andrew folded his nicely. <laughs> right. That's very symbolic. Right. All right, Andy.